Welcome back guys to another video on Geeks of the Realm and in this video we're going to do a sort of games review um, and maybe like an unboxing of one of my favourite games. Now this is not a competitive game like uh, you know like a tabletop war game you know, or anything like that. This is just a nice game that you want to play with your family. Now it's my, one of my favourite games because when I was a kid my favourite film was the uh, film from um, Jim Henson, The Labyrinth with David Bowie. So my wife decided uh, um, with Christmas to get me a special gift. And she knows I love playing, obviously, board games and tabletop war games and stuff and painting. So what she thought, she went and got me a lovely game. Oh yeah. I'll have a little review of this, so I'll see you guys soon. Right guys, let's get straight into it. So, this is the board game, Labyrinth, based on the film Labyrinth, with David Bowie and Jennifer Connelly, the Jim Henson film. And... As I said in the introduction, this is my favourite game. Not just board game, but any game. And the reason for that is, well, there's a few reasons. One, this is the first game and only game my wife has ever bought me. And I've been with my wife now a lot of years. And she knows I love war gaming. She knows I love playing games. She, This is the only game she's ever bought me. So this one is quite special. Two, when I was a kid, this was my favourite film. It was not just as a kid, it's one of my favourite films now. Um, even in fact, I tried to get for my wedding, my first song, I tried to get the um, As the World Falls Down um, from there. And it was, well, my wife said, don't be silly. So I couldn't get that. My other reason is when I opened this, now she, my wife got me this for Christmas. So I opened it at Christmas time and I've got a four-year-old daughter. And as I was opening it, my daughter saw it and I said, oh, it's, it's, a, it's the Labyrinth game, oh, brilliant. As soon as my daughter heard that, she went, Dad, can we play it? Can we play it? And I said, well, yeah, of course we can. Of course we can. So I opened it up. I said, I'll tell you what, we'll put Labyrinth on the TV as we're playing it. So my daughter was watching Labyrinth as we're playing it, and now she loves it. Okay, she's always like, Dad, can we play it? Dad, can we play it? And it's brilliant. So, it's, yeah, of course we can. But she always loves being Sarah. Now, this brings me on to the third reason why I love it, because it's got miniatures. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you get five miniatures and they're very detailed. Okay, you get Hoggle, you get Sarah, you get Jareth, you get Sir Didymus, and you get Ludo. I'll, when we open the box and have a look inside, you'll you'll see them. Okay, they've got really good um, um, good detail on them. So not just that. I mean, look at the front of the box. Look at that. That is just really good artwork. Okay, and on the back it shows you all the all the content and it's brilliant. So. Like I say, this is my favourite game. There is an expansion to it, which I haven't got yet. Okay, I'm a bit a bit, a bit upset really I haven't got it. But you never know, I might get it in the future. Um, and the expansion is the Goblins. And we'll go through sort of different scenarios with them and stuff like that. But let's get this open and see what's inside. So when you open it, okay, put that there like that, you get a ton of cards, okay? You get all these cards here. Yep. Now you get two cards per guy you're going to be. Now nobody beats Jareth unless you play as the fifth person and then you can be Jareth. Okay. But you can, normal players or, or your, your friends basically, you play as, you've got Hoggle, you've got Ludo, you've got Sir Didymus and you've got Sarah. Now these cards obviously help during the game. They give you bonuses to... Um, to your rolls and stuff, which we'll go through later on. Okay, you then get load of this cards. Now, these this is your deck. This is basically your labyrinth that you've got to get through. The idea of the game is you've got to go around uh, as individuals before you meet up, and you've got to try and work your way through the deck. Now, every time you land on a space and you it's a space you stay on, you get to draw a card from the the, the deck. And the idea is to go down and find the um, gates to the goblin castle. Uh, which is in here somewhere, okay? Um, you've got to, f there you go, entrance to the Goblin City, okay? So you've got to find that card all the way through these cards. 
Now you've only got 13 hours to do that, or 13 turns as it were. So you've got to get through all them in 13 turns and it's quite difficult. So some you might not even get to the end, some you just make it. So, you know, that's what they're there for. You then get these cards, okay? Now these cards come to when you go into the Goblin City. So these are the stuff you're going to fight in the Goblin City. So the first one you have is Humongous, okay? You fight him, so on the card it tells you what you need to fight and stuff, and you know, we'll go through how you do that in a bit. But you get Humongous, you've got to fight, which is the guy who, um, that big metal robot guy that's um, been driven by one of the one of the goblins, um, right at this, right at the entrance to the to the Goblin City. Okay, so you've got to fight him. You've then got Goblin Infantry, okay, to fight. You've got Goblin Cavalry, which are the guys on sort of like dinosaur -y bird type things, okay? You've then got the Goblin Artillery, which is the ones that shoot you, okay, or shoot in the film. You've then got the Goblin King's Maze, so you've got to go through the maze and you've got to um, recite a spell. And the spell is that card there, okay? The spell is, if you were ever into the film, is what um, Sarah recites to, um, to Jareth. Right at the end, or she says at the beginning, she keeps forgetting one line, and she has to recite it at the end to defeat him. So you've got to memorize that spe that spell, or you know the spell. When you get to the end of the end of the the, the game, right the right at the end, you've got to recite it. Now, if you know the film, you've got to try and recite it off heart. If you don't know the film, then you can cheat it. So I give it to my daughter to read through, and she was reading it, and we ended up beating Jareth. So you get them cards. You then get. Now, obviously, this bag, you don't get this bag. This bag was, my wife was doing something with it. And I thought, hmm, that'd be perfect to store these. So, thank you, wife. You get will tokens. Now, all these tokens mean stuff. You know, if you if you lose a fight, you lose one will. And if you lose all your will, you go to the oubliette. So, where it's a place where you forget about things, which we'll go through. I'll show you on the board. You also get um, Ludo tokens of uh, when he go, gets dropped into the... Um, Bog of Eternal Stenches area, so you get them just to show you where the Bog of Eternal Stench goes. So you get some tokens. You then get dice, and you get different colour dice. So these like I call them D and D dice. Okay, now so you get D twenty, D twelve, D eight, D six, D ten, and a D four. The different colours because when you're fighting sort of like Humongous or even Jareth, it tells you you have to fight your brawn versus a yellow and red dice. So you take your yellow and red dice and you roll them and whoever gets the highest, you know, that sort of stuff. So it has to be different colours. So you get them. You get boards. We'll open these up. There we go. So you get four player boards. Okay, with art on them, obviously. And you can see you've got these dice here. Okay, so you've got your speed, your wit and your brawn. So that's the dice you roll if you're testing against speed, if you're testing against brawn and that sort of stuff. Okay, and then that bit there is all about Will. Yeah, so she's got quite a lot of Will to start with. So she starts off with five, and every time she loses, she loses a Will point. And eventually, if she loses all of it, she goes to the UBS. So you get them. You get cards that bases stick to. So when you get into the Goblin City, you put these on top of where the Goblin City is, or the or the space where they're supposed to go, and you have to fight it to, before you move on. So that is Humongous. Then you get the Goblin uh, Infantry. You get the Goblin Cavalry. Caval Cavalry. Cavalry. You then get the Artillery, the Goblin Artillery. And then you get the Whose Turn It Is Token, which is um, Toby. Okay. So you use that to pass it around. Then you get, so we'll keep it on here, you get the miniatures. So you get Hoggle. Now the detail on these is really good and it looks the spit of, of uh, Hoggle. I can't wait to paint these and I'll even do a painting tutorial on these. Okay, these are really nice. And they're one cast as well so you don't have to stick them together. That's how they come, which is brilliant. So you get Hoggle, you get Sarah, my daughter's favourite. She has to be Sarah. You get Jareth, and yes, with his infamous bulge, oh yes. You then have Sir Didymus, 
Yeah. You then have Ludo, friend. Oh yes, you have Ludo. That was my power pants Ludo impression, but my doll likes it. So we have all our miniatures, and like I say the miniatures are really nice, very well detailed, and oh, I can't wait to paint them. They're gonna look awesome. Okay. And then they come in this nice furry tray to hold them in, which is brilliant. You then have the clock with 13 hours, as you can see. Yeah. It's obviously the the cardboard replica of the one they use in the in labyrinth. Yeah, you have thirteen hours to solve the labyrinth before your baby brother becomes one of us forever. I've watched it too many times. <laughs> I don't think you can watch it too many times. So you get that. That is so you've got thirteen turns basically. So everybody gets to move in one turn, then it goes to the move it around, and then you keep going, and then keep going until you've got thirteen turns to do it. You then got. The rule book, and obviously the rule book looks like the book from the film, so this is what like, Sarah holds, um, looks really nice. Uh, inside it you've got all the rules, you've got lovely artwork, yeah, all the way through, bits of rules, lovely art. That's the, uh, the scene that I wanted the song from, but my wife wouldn't let me. You then have a, a leaflet, now this is the expansion I was telling you about. So this is the goblin, so you get the expansion like that. And that's what they look like painted. Yeah, so I want to get hold of them. I think they're about 20 quid-ish. You know, I can't be sure, but I think about 20 quid. Then you get the board. Now the board is quite big. Let's open it up. But the board itself has got all the places on the labyrinth film itself. Okay, really big and very well detailed. Now, obviously you've got the right at the center. You've got the Goblin Castle, okay, and the Goblin Gates into the into the city, okay. You've then got, this is where you start off, so you've got the entrance to the labyrinth, just here, yeah. Uh, which is where Hoggle is caught weeing into the pond and catches fairies, which the fairies are right on there. You then come across, oh, you've even got the worm. Hello, did you say hello? No, I said hello, that's close enough. Some more film things for you there, guys. Um, so you've got the worm, and move further along, you have the oubliette, which is where you don't want to go to. Um, it's a place for forgetting. So that's where Sarah ends up falling into. You've got the cards, the guy cards who ask who one of them tell, always tells the truth, and the other one always lies. So you get that there. Uh, coming up, you've got the wise man with the hat. Yeah, just there. Further up, you've got where Ludo is found. This is where Ludo, uh, Sarah helps Ludo in this area. And uh, you've got the door knockers, okay. You've then got the fireys over here. Yeah, so there's the fireys and the fiery camp. You've then got the bog of eternal stench over this end. Come further down, you've got where Sarah eats the um, peach and falls asleep and goes into the dream world where the song is that I love. So you get that. You then come further down, okay, you've got the little mace at the entrance. So you've got all that detail and it's all stuff from the artwork, okay? And it's from the artwork, from the film, and it's just beautiful, okay? So that is it, and all these sort of, these squares here where you can just see, see the white outline, that's the squares you go on, so you've got to move from um, and land on the square, and when you land on it, you can draw a card. Okay, let's put that away. So that is, Basically, the unboxing of Labyrinth, the board game, um, the River Horse one. Now, I have a friend, um, and his son saw one of my YouTube videos, and I take my daughter to school, and he goes to the uh, his son goes to the same school as my daughter. So he saw him, and he said, "Aaron, I saw you on YouTube. Can I come on?" And obviously, I said, "Well, yeah, of course you can. If it's alright with your dad." So I'm thinking, I might play this game with Amelie and is Amelie's my daughter and um and her school friend who said you know wanted to be on youtube and bring his dad around i might have a four-way game and what we'll do is we'll video it okay and we'll show you how to play so it's like a, a learn to play for this game now i love this game it is brilliant i can't wait to paint these models these models are going to look really nice now i'm going to spend a lot of time on these models because i want them to be perfect um so once I've, I might, I'll do a painting tutorial on them as well, 
okay because they are just class so guys that is it that is your unboxing of the labyrinth board game please leave comments below okay if you if you like this video or um you know if you want to ask me questions about it and how many times we played it or or whatever um i mean the price of it i think it's about 39 40 quid now um you can get all of it my wife never told me how much she paid um obviously she wouldn't because it was christmas but i've had to i looked around i think it's about 40 quid now you can buy them for so like i say leave a comment um you know tell me if you liked it or not and i'll see what i can do with any other future videos obviously please subscribe and tell your friends uh, that would be very helpful and obviously click the bell notification to let you know when we upload more videos there will be a painting tutorial on these labyrinth stuff there'll be a gameplay of the labyrinth um if i do manage to Fingers crossed to get hold of this Goblin expansion. I'll do an unboxing of them and again play, see how they play. Um, but we've got a lot of stuff coming up um, in the in the future for this channel. So we're going to have some more battle reports of different gaming systems, unboxing of other games. Um, I'm looking at getting into the Lord of the Rings Battle of Pelennor Fields, uh, the new Lord of the Rings box set. Um, I just love the the Hobbit films and Lord of the Rings, so I'm gonna. See if I can get into them. So yeah, please stay tuned guys.